Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first of all, let's create background layer. Go to here, right mouse, new and solid layer. Add the name, background, click OK. Move to behind and go to effect preset, search effect fill. Select fill, let's use for this background and go to color let's select color like this click ok and select background let's control d for duplicate and change name grid then select grid and delete fill go to fx press again search effect grid select this grid let's use for this grid layer and go to color let's select eyedropper select this background color and open color cube change to dark like this click ok and let's go to the corner points select width to slider and change like this okay so let's change opacity 80 okay and let's lock layers then go to layer new and null object I will use null object for control all objects for move anchor point center hold control double click pan behind center click session tool and move to here select these all layers and let's link to null object select null let's see okay right now I can move these objects with null object so in this time let's go to window open animation comes 3 Open starter press it and don't fight the chain scale, select the null, press S, chain scale like this. Move to here, okay, and right now let's open 2D layers, open folder here, and select these P7 and P6 layers, and let's use is position rotate scale. Let's see. Okay, and let's use top effect. Select this top. Select these two layers, click in. Okay, let's say animation. Nice. So then select this layer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's see. Okay, let's use bottom, click in. Nice. And select left layers. And let's use left. Click in. Nice. Select right layers. And let's use right click in. Nice. And select this layer. Let's use overshot scale. Or this. Okay, this is good. Let's select this and click in. Nice. So select this P1 layer and change bones 1 and this 2. 100. Let's see. Very good. So let's move right this animation compressor window and let's work with layers. Okay. So I want to make good timing. Let's first select this layer 1. Let's move right this 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 step by step animation. Let's see. Nice. And let's select the left layers. Move to here, like this. Okay, let's move to left a little bit. And let's move to right these marks for slow animation. Okay, and right layers. Move to here. And move to right marks for slow animation. and up layers let's move to right and move to right these marks for slow animation okay very good so right now let's go to here and select this null press p make new pattern keyframe and go to some keyframes and move to left let's enable title action save okay and let's select these two keyframes and move up. 
OK and let's move to here center. OK, so say key frames, let's make easy go to graph editor and let's make graph smooth. Let's see. Nice. And let's graph make like this. Okay, let's move right last key frame for slow animation. Okay, so in this time let's go to text and let's write here our text. Clicization tool and let's change font size. Move to here. Let's change like this. And right now let's change letter colors. Let's double click. And first select the C, let's go to eyedrop, select yellow, and this, select green, and E, select this color, and T, select red, and I, select yellow, and select green, and again select yellow. And let's change I this text. Select I. Let's use blue. And D select yellow. And E red. And green. And finally select again yellow. Okay, clearization tool. And select this text. Let's go to again animation comes there. And right now let's open text layers, animate characters, let's use overshot scale, ok that's good, let's click in, close conversation and let's see, nice, let's move to right this text and move to right mark for slow animation, ok let's move to right a little bit, very nice. Ok, we can move to left this take a little bit for better timing. Nice. So after create all animations, let's control A, select all layers and click this icon for motion blur. Ok, and don't forget to click single layers. Ok, let's see. Okay, not bad. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.